Warning, you are now entering the madhouse. But sex, cursing, racial comments, and sexual content. If you are prepared for insanity, and don't forget to subscribe for more bum fuckery. Welcome to the place where you're in the camera now. I'm just going Gray, and we are back with some more GTA today. We got some easy Hi. And we are first person only episode, and we're Vigoro hunting, because this is the best car in the game, let's be honest. Yeah. So we gotta find some easy one to steal, and so uh, I've been like slowly working my way towards. There was two over by where we were at. We should have just stolen them. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking about it. Me neither. It's a great car though. So yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna go find some easy one. But first, I'm gonna get insurance on this one, so we can so I have it and we don't blow it up. You know. Bye. Bye. You, why are you setting waypoints? I don't need those. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I know the map. Oh, I don't. You feel safer with a waypoint on? Yeah. This dude's Guard like, oh, that's ass. a dope. <laughs> I would too. I don't need that stuff right now. All right. Uh, lost theft prevention. Tracker. Full coverage. Ding. And let's put. Tires, 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 wheels. I hope in, like, GTA okay. 6 online, they let you pick body types, because I'd love to be a fat guy. Oh, dude, that'd be dope. I don't know which ones I want. Oh, those are nice right there. Bam. $72,000. Not bad. For what? For the fucking wheels I just put on. Oh, because they're chrome. Uh, da 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 da. Respray? Should we respray? Yeah. Primary color. Pink. No. Let's go classic. I mean, black just looks too good. Like, oh my yeah. God, looks... I mean, it's the perfect. Uh... What like a gray? What about graphite? Graphite's just like off black, and it looks better. I think. I think it works well. Like blacks work well for this car, based on its original model. Yeah. Throw a roll cage in there's only a thousand bucks. Yeah. Lights. How much, are, how much are these xenon lights? Five Gs. All right, we can uh, we can uh, when we come uh, when we sell some product and make some money. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that. We'll come and we'll come and finish customizing this car. But for now, we gotta get some easy one. Ah, it took me out of first person. Fuck off, game. Oh yeah, this car handles way better with these tires. Though. Big so we're just gonna circle the map and tell stories, looking for Vigoros? Yeah, we can do that. You first. Um. <laughs> Woo! So, uh. Freeway or front of drove? The what? Should we get on the freeway or stay on the front of drove? Well! Get out. Yeah. There's one right here. Never mind. Oh, I'm in a gauntlet. Yeah, there's gauntlets. Where is How'd it? How'd you get a gauntlet? It was a guy. It was a gauntlet. I saw the back. I saw the tail lights. You gonna get in, or are you gonna are you gonna chill in that car? Well, you're a mile away from me. Fuck. <laughs> get in. There's a gauntlet. There's another gauntlet. Why are there so many gauntlets? Fuck off, game! It's not what we want. Oops, I missed a turn, didn't I? Midlife anyway. crises. Anyway, go for your story mode, bud. Uh, yeah, so... The first and only time I had mad mushrooms. Oh no. This ought to be good. Um... That was a good story. <laughs> yeah, that was no. a great story because it never no. happened. <laughs> what happened was, um, like, that was the day that I was introduced to Frank Zappa. And, okay. And, and we watched the uh, Frank Zappa dub room special. Uh huh. And it was all, like, fucky art that, like, fucked with my head. 
No, my body's like, all right, let's fucking walk to my girlfriend's house. And I was in a, a city that I, I hadn't really been before. Like I've been there a few times, but I never did any exploration. And so my first real like taste of that city was high on fucking mushrooms. That's dope. And so I was walking, uh, I was walking behind my buddy, and I forgot who he was. <laughs> and like, I, to, I was like, do I? Have I just, uh, before you finish your story, I just want to, I just want to interject and say, I used to take shrooms so I could sleep. Like I would literally take shrooms, lay on the roof, stare at the fucking stars until I passed out. That's like that. That was my thing for a while. Oh wow. And by stare at the stars, I mean I'd stay up all night staring at the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Just like entrenched, see like shit moving, and then you're like, what the fuck? Wait, was that a. Yeah, mild visual hallucinations. Pretty much. It wasn't, it wasn't. Oh. What the fuck just happened? But, um, what happened was, so I was following him, and I was like, fight this guy? <laughs> <laughs> like, psilocybin, uh,. Mushrooms, they don't give you overt uh, hallucinations. It's its for the most part, it's mild uh, sensory hallucinations. Yes. Okay. But um, in my mind, I didn't know who I was following or, or why I was following. And uh, so eventually he turns around and I was like, oh shit, Matt, when did you get here? And. <laughs> And we, uh, we decided to get a cab at that point, because I explained to him what happened. Uh -huh. And uh, he, we were sitting around at a, uh, at a coffee shop, and I was starving. So I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a fruit cup. <laughs> so I, I bought a fruit cup, and I'm eating it. And I, didn't, I, I was just eating my fruit cup. I was 100% focused on it, like hyper-focused <laughs> on nice. uh, this fruit cup. Oh my god. <laughs> and um, my buddy's trying to uh, introduce me to people that he knows. Uh -huh. And he, he starts poking me. And I'm like, oh, what? What? Oh, hi. And this woman was already in the middle of the story. And I was like, oh, hi. Yeah. And uh, I went back to eating my uh, fruit cup. And I started listening to her story. And she was just bringing the fucking buzz down. It was just, uh, hey. oh, my dad's sick, this, that, and the other. And I was like, all right, I'm going to turn her off in my head. Right, and right. she said something, and, like, it snapped me out of just hyper-focusing on my uh, fruit cup. Don't worry about what I'm doing. And she said, uh, she said something like, I got I to gotta change him. And I was like, wait, what? And I started listening. And she's like, yeah, oh, fuck. my father's uh, now incontinent and I have to change his uh, depends. And I laughed in her face. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> I just started laughing. And she goes, and my buddy was trying not to laugh because he's on mushrooms too. Oh no. <laughs> and so it was like a situation where it's like, fuck. And hey, she's like, yeah, I guess it's fucking mind. funny that I got to change my dad's diapers, huh? And it made me laugh even harder. And my buddy oh, no. started laughing, and her husband started laughing. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Her husband must have had a contact high or something, cause, or maybe he just didn't like her father. Maybe. That could be it. But, yeah. It's nice. This uh, Negro hunting is not going well, I'll say. Nope. Go, 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 go. But, uh... I don't remember the rest of that night. Like, it's all blurry. Nice. But I definitely remember laughing at a girl because she has to change her dad's diapers. That's that's honestly fucking hilarious. And I was like, what do I say? Like, because I'm laughing, I'm like, no. Fucking destroyed on mushrooms right now. You chose a bad time to talk about your dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Just laughing in a bitch's face. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Well, I've never... Have you read a bad trip? No. Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't take... I don't take... That was the first and last time I took mushrooms, though. I've taken quite a few. I've taken quite a few hallucinogens. 
I've never had a bad trip, but I've walked. I walked my ex through a really bad trip. <laughs> and it Just was, don't think could, about like, Satan trying to eat. No, babies. no, no. She's like she was in a bad place as it was, and somebody gave her shrooms. Oh. And uh, she took way more than she should have to start with. So already a bad decision in the fact that she decided to take shrooms. By the way, kids, don't do drugs. I took um, way more than I should have. Yeah, yeah. She took like three caps. Yeah, I, and I was just like, oh no. I just reached like, into one the cap, bag. One cap's enough. Jesus Christ. Uh, and it's like she took three, like just like, and her first time too, out of everything. There's nothing in this parking lot. Fuck. Uh, so it's like, fuck. It was already a bad. It was a very bad decision. So anyway, she calls me. She tells me what happened, and she's like freaking out. She's like, oh, I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna go to jail. Nah, 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 nah. And then like, you can't she go started, to jail like, for being high. I know. It's like, no, you'll be fine. Whatever. And I talked her down, and then she started, like, thinking about life and all kinds of stupid shit. She called me back, and she's like, oh, my God, I just want to die, nah, 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 nah. And then, like, the fucking ceiling, I guess, started, like, closing in on her. She That's was in a weird. small room. She, and she was, like, in the corner. She was, like, in a bad place, so her mind is all fucked Yeah, up. but that must have been psychosomatic, because, like I said, you know, mushrooms are a... It's a mild sensory... What the fuck? Okay, game. Fuck off. Oh, that bitch is dead, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, continue. So, anyway, so she's, like, calling me, and she's, like, freaking out. She's, like, I had to mute the phone every time she would scream because her screams were hilarious. She'd be like, ah! <laughs> It's like she'd be in the middle of talking and be like, oh, yeah, you know, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd have to mute the phone because I'd bust out laughing every time I heard it. <laughs> Like, I felt terrible because she's, like, going through, like, the worst experience of her life, and I'm over here getting a giggle out of it. <laughs> it's, like, the funniest shit, and it's, like, she finally, like, fucking passed out, I guess, eventually. She, like, woke up the next day, and she didn't remember any of it. <laughs> and I was, like, Good. Though, like, I just reached into the bag, and I ate whatever was in my hand, and it was substantially more than I mean, three. Yeah, I mean, in honesty, I've, I've taken way more than that. Yeah. Like, a solid, like, six caps in within, like, a two or three minute period, and it was, like, I was fine. It was just a really good high. I just, yeah, like, like I said, I fucking ate a whole bun. My buddy's like, yeah, you should be all right. <laughs> I was all right. In theory. Well, yeah, yeah, at the moment it was in theory, but apparently I got a high mushroom tolerance. But, um... Nice. It's probably because I'm fat. Let's face it. You're not fat. You're big boner. Well, I got um, I got a, um, uh, I got a lot more mass than most people, so that makes uh metabolizing shit. I mean, shit we weigh almost easier. the same, except I'm way taller. Yeah. Like, like we're only like ten pounds off from each other's weight. But so um, like... the uh, like I said, so I just ate a whole bunch tripped for a while but i do remember uh we went to his we, we finally got to his girlfriend's place uh-huh um we watched horror movies oh that's a great idea on shrooms no it didn't bother me none i watched hey, my buddy you... take i gave my buddy shrooms for the first time and uh this is when i was in basketball like in middle school like the only time i ever played sports yeah. Was in middle school for like a half of a season. Then the coach was like, we're not. Because it was like me and two other, two of my cousins and my buddy who were like really good when we were all on the court at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the coach was just like, I'm not putting you guys in together because you're fucking ball high. Nah, 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 nah. You won't listen to me. And it's like, you're just pissed off because we're, we know more about basketball than you ever will. We're 10 times better than you ever were. I'm Larry that kind of shit. Like, we got into it. Yeah. <laughs> like, we got into it with him, and he's like, I'm not putting you in star. You're staying on the fucking bench. I was like, fuck you. I'll just fucking quit then. And I fucking walked out, and I never came back. <laughs> but anyway, that's that. I just that took a whole tangent. I didn't need it to. But anyway, um, so my buddy, I gave him shrooms for the first time. And he went to basketball practice like that. And I just remember him. He's, like, sitting in the corner bouncing a ball that wasn't there. <laughs> for 45 minutes <laughs> like the coach kind of figured something was going on I think so he didn't say anything but yeah he was sitting there bouncing a ball that didn't exist for 45 minutes and it was fucking hilarious <laughs> well like I said you can't be in trouble for being high 
No, it's like, it's that. The coach was a fucking cokehead, too. He used to break into his fucking office and steal his stash. That's besides the point. <laughs> I was a bad... I'll just put it this way. School was not a good time for me. I was a bad person. <laughs> I wasn't a... Uh, I wasn't bad. I behaved for the most part. But, like, I never I was went in the to principal. school. I wasn't there, yeah. Wasn't but when I went there. to school, I was a great student. Yeah. Like, I, I was... Kept my, I, like, they knew I could get, like, straight A's and B's if I wanted to, and I just kept it at, like, straight C's, just so I didn't have... So they didn't, like, look to me like, oh, you should have better grades, and I could be like, nah, I don't need him. Fuck off. Well, yeah, that's the thing, like, I wouldn't go to class, I'd sleep through class, but I'd ace all my tests, somehow. Yeah. I had a teacher who literally hated me because she would watch me take tests, and I would literally 100% the test, and then I would go back and change a bunch of answers so I would get, like, a shitty grade so I didn't have to worry about getting that every time. Yeah. <laughs> and she used to yell at me for it, like, why would you do this? And I'm like, because I don't fucking care about school. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I wound up dropping out. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You wound up dropping out? Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, there's a lot of family problems going on, and I needed to drop out. Essentially, and um, I went to college, so fuck it. Yeah, I mean, I'm really works. good at underachieving. It's probably like what I should have Your majored best. in. <laughs> yeah, right. Underachievement for the bold. <laughs> like, uh, if it was an Olympic sport, I'd be taking gold all the time, nice. or maybe I wouldn't because it's an underachieving. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'd take so brass. Be, be a Browns. Be a Browns. <laughs> Why are there no cars in any of the parking lots? Probably because it's nighttime. I just realized that. Yeah. Oh, well. It's all right. So off the side of the cliff? Let's go run somebody over. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Okay, this is going to end badly. I'm just calling it down. Hey, there's a guy with a bounty. Let's go get him. Yeah, all right. That was fun. How did we live through that? I just like skateboarded down the hill. Hell yeah, dude. This car can get some air, man. I don't even have an upgraded engine yet. How long till we blow up? Uh, 10 minutes. Alright. What holds you to that? <laughs> well, if we keep doing that, 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm not. We're going after that guy. Aw, somebody got in. Let's go get the guy who got in. Fuck, yeah. I can't drive. Hey, there's a fucking... This thing. I love how they, like, become so scarce. And then they're just, like, not anymore. Yeah. Ramp! That's a tree. This looks glorious in first person. I'm yep. fucking dizzy. Shit. But yeah, like, my teachers hated me because, like, I wouldn't do schoolwork past tests. My teachers hated me because I'd go to class drunk or high. Yeah. And, like, they knew it because I would just sit and pass out in the back. <laughs> and well, then, I mean, like, I I'd literally, and I or, like, I'd do, like, a whole semester's worth of work in, like, two days and just turn it all in. <laughs> so I didn't have to go to school, and then it's like, then they'd be like, they had no choice but to give me AIDS because it was all correct. So, fuck, yeah. fuck them. It's like that literally happened. Like, math was, like, the only thing I ever took seriously. So we took, like, advanced calculus and stuff. And, like, I literally passed the course in, like, probably three days. Like, the, like two semesters worth of work in three days. Passed it, no problem, 100% of the, all the tests. And uh, so we, I took, like, four years of college math in high school. And so, like, it got to the point where, like, it was uh, a former professor... And uh, he was, uh, he worked something, I don't know, some like super like really nice, he's a millionaire basically. And he was just like substituting the substitute and he was a professor at one time at a college or something. And then like my other teacher who was like really good at math and also was a former professor in college for math, um, we used to literally just sit doing equations on our, um, and it would take up like, you know, like, you know like those equations you see on TV that take up like six or seven chalkboards? That was us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like that's that would be our days. Like that's how we'd kill time. I had a math like, teacher who quit being a scientist to be a math teacher. What the fuck is wrong with him? He hated it. 
He was like, I love right. science, but I hate being a scientist. Pull your gat out for somebody up here. He's inside. Fuck. No, no, stop, stop. Stop, stop. I got this. I'll just flip him off. He just run at you to try punching you. <laughs> yeah, I stole it. <laughs> get in. We gotta go. We gotta go. Or get run over. You know that works too. We're trying to make a quick getaway, and you're over here getting run over. He just respawned. Let's go. <laughs> we might have just started a war. Like four people just joined. Like. Well, he was dressed like an asshole anyway. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh. We just walked past a guy? He's yeah. still there. My accuracy is great. <laughs> you got me killed by being in my way. Oh my god, my accuracy was so good. You could have told me I could have fucking flipped a bitch and rolled around, you know? Oh, he got me. <laughs> I was lining up a shot on him because I thought... And then I tried to, uh, roll. Fuck! <laughs> this guy's a dick. <laughs> we just, Do we just start a war for no reason? Like, yeah. we're supposed to be Vigoro hunting, and when the daytime comes... Oh, jeez. Somebody... Fuck off, dude. Fuck! <laughs> His buddy got me. <laughs> we just turned this lobby into a war zone. Welcome to Vietnam. I like this little pistol. It's fun. Where you at? Did you get a helicopter? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, lowest parachute challenge. What a douche! Oh, is that what it is? You should have come pick. You should come pick me up. No. Why am I so far away though? I don't know. I'm coming. I'm ready to get my car. We need to still find a V-Girl. Yeah? It's like the goal of this entire episode, even though we keep dicking around and doing stupid shit. Oh, I just realized that guy had stole my V-Girl. I got this, boys. I like how they all left. Did you notice that? Yeah. You having fun in a helicopter? So what is it? Get closer to the closest to the ground. Yeah. Pull your parachute. Pull your parachute closest to the ground. All right, this is gonna suck. So let's do it, bitch. We're just fucking around. Anyway, what's another story? What's something else we can talk about? Um. Sucking dick for a living is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? So my buddy knew a guy who had a pet hamster named Midnight. That's hot. And his favorite thing to do with Midnight was put Midnight in a sock, spin him around, and toss him over to a couch where he <gasps> bounce. Hey, speak easy. What? Never mind. And um, so he'd bounce out, or he'd bounce Midnight off the couch, and he'd be fine. And... He goes, hey man, you want to see this trick? And he's showing my buddy. Uh, Spigeezy, I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need some help, like ASAP. All right. How am I outrunning this guy? He has a fucking nicer car. But um, he goes, all right. So he's showing him the trick, and he's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Fuck, dude. There's a fucking squad rolling. Fuck me. 
This was a chill lobby till we started killing people. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. It's a f fucking great lobby. You gonna come back at me? Where is he? Where's this bitch at? He blew up my car? Fuck off. No! Fuck you, dude. Fucking virgins. Anyway, continue your story. Oh, all right. So, um, my buddy, he's watching him do this, and he's doing it for a while. Kid's luck is oh. gonna... Like, they were kids, and he's like, I don't think you should do this. And he's like, no, it's cool. Midnight loves it. And as he says that, he lets the sock go, and uh -huh. the sock hits a wall and goes, Oh, thump. no. <laughs> and and uh, my buddy says, um, Midnight crawled out of the sock and just started twitching. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No. And, and the kid's going, Midnight. Midnight. <laughs> And my buddy's like, he fucking, he, he tried not to laugh at the kid. Like, he had to really try. I would have laughed. I would have fucking but hysterically laughed. this little kid killed his hamster by throwing it at a wall. That's amazing. <laughs> He's upside down, twitching a leg in the air. <laughs> that's, um, that's like borderline. Midnight! Midnight! Dude, that's fucking awesome. Like, I wish I was that guy. I wish I was midnight sometimes. Yeah. You know? You ever had that feeling? Like, why can't I be midnight? That fucking sucks. <laughs> I fucking I would have laughed. Like, that's hilarious. Like, you... Oh, God. I don't want to go this way. I just realized those guys are here. Fuck. We're in this way now. Oh, that's an Albany. I want to stunt him. I want to suck your dick. Yeah? Like, no, like, right now. Like, put it in... Oh, they just got an armored vehicle to come fuck with me. Are you serious? These kids are fucking virgins. I'm on my way. Don't worry, I'm gonna... I'm about to win this, this competition. I got an Albany Primo. I might donk it. Oh, yeah, that's what I was just in. We'll go. Let's get out of town. Yeah. I'm gonna climb to the top of this building. I hope I have a parachute. Wait, I think there is a parachute on top of this building. Maybe. Yeah, it sucks. Poor guy's hamster, you know? Like. Midnight! You know, my hamster as a child died because we all forgot we had a hamster in the house. Oh, and we just didn't feed him. Yeah, and like literally it was like months later, like, what's that smell? And it was like in another room. Oh! <laughs> Forgot! Dad's like, are you feeding your hamster? And you're like, actually, he was, uh, he was the one who was supposed to feed the hamster. <laughs> so it was like, Dad, where's that? Oh no, oh no, oh no. I didn't have a parachute. <laughs> I'm gonna climb this crane. At least I know there's a parachute there. Center. Yeah, that's what happens. Parachute. Have you ever parachuted off of a parachute? No. Maybe we should try it. You know, it's really, it's real nice. It's real nice. It's like my penis. It just, it just, get, it gets better every time. I found a buccaneer. Mm. We need to find a Vigoro though, so we can be Vigoro brothers and fuck around. Oh god, they're here. Speak easy, I need help. I got you. There's an insurgent after me. How many how many rockets is it to blow that thing up? Three? Five. Five? They're in the parking garage with me. I don't know what to do. Like they can't shoot me because I'm climbing. Which is a great thing. But they're right underneath me. Get the fuck out of here. I put one in his head. Nice. 
from the combat MG. And he didn't die? Yeah. Fuck off, game. Cheating fuck. Yeah, he's probably sucking dick. I guess I'm gonna win this. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win this. If I get to the top of this tower soon, I might win it. Yeah. You ever like put a hamster in your bundle? No. Feels nice. Feels real nice. Like, why is that a thing though? Like, what? Like, of all things you could stick in your ass, why a hamster? It's because they uh, they scratch around in there. Yeah, but wouldn't that hurt? No. Well, yeah, a little bit, but you gotta take the pleasure with the pain. I mean, I like nipple clamps more than the next guy, but come on. Take the pleasure with the pain, man. You know you're getting high up when you start hearing wind whistling, you know? Yeah. Like, my arms are tired. My arms and legs are tired looking at this bitch going up this. I couldn't imagine climbing this. Well, actually, I can. I've climbed a 780-foot tower like this. And it was just one straight ladder for zip lining. It was fucking oh. terrible. It was, like, one of the best experiences ever. I was like, I literally wasn't even going to do the zip line, and then my buddy, I had to go talk him down. And he's like, well, why don't you do it, since you're trick fucking trying to tell me to do it. And I was like, fine. And I was like, harness me up. And I literally, they were like, all right, I'm going to count you down. I was like, no, you're not. And I jumped off. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, whoa, crazy motherfucker. And then my buddy ended up doing it, and he was screaming the whole time. But like, it was like 800 foot off of a, off of a lake. Oh. Yeah, it was dope. Almost to the top. This might happen. Just shoot you. I just want to point out it took me five minutes to get to the top of this goddamn tower. You better get there soon. Time's running out. Now I got a minute and 40. Got a minute to win it. Prison break. Great series. Great series. Gay. <laughs> How'd you survive you just... that? <laughs> I pulled it at I pulled it at the two story mark and fucking nailed it. <laughs> it stopped it literally stopped me just in time to land it. Like that was too perfect. Alright, be Oh I'm not in first person, I just realized that. Oopsies. I already broke I already broke the episode. Yeah. Where you at? So we should go. Should we go back out in the country and go vigro hunting again? Nah. How we gonna be vigro brothers? Actually, hold on. I think I know where there's one. You want to see me win this? Three, two, one. It's okay. Yeah. I got eighty-five hundred dollars. I got sixty-five. Bitch. Somebody's got cops on them, and I just ran over a fucking spike strip because of it. Thanks, guys. Probably those pricks in the insurgent. Hey, guess what I found? What'd you find? Oh, never mind. I found the fucking Smokey and the Bandit car. I'll take that. Oh, they're after me again. God damn it. Come this... Oh, never mind. You're too far. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. Oh, yay! Now I have a fucking bounty. They put a bounty on you? 
about to have it. I stole someone's car. There it is. I'm on like the Vigoro spawning ground. This is where I was coming to get from. I forgot about this place until like right now. Daily objectives? What the fuck are those? Suck a dick and suck a dick. Don't forget to suck a dick, suck a dick. Uh, yeah. So there's that, and there's that, and there's also this and that. Fucking a little bit of this everywhere. And... Yeah, I know. I can't find a fucking <laughs> Vigoro. I can't even find my Vigoro because it's blown up. Big give me the fuck in here, bros. Nah. Oh, God. Wait, a cop hit me and I got cops for it? Fuck yeah. off, game. I need to switch cars. My fucking tires are flat. Or this kid can kill me. Oh. Oh, yeah. No! This dude's a dick! He literally just pulled up to dick me over. Fuck off, I'm running. Call the police. I called the police on the police, and the police came, and they both shot me. Speaking of police brutality, what do you think about that whole mess? What thing? What, well, just in general. Like, police brutality and shit's always in the news, it seems like. I think the police somebody, aren't Some cop is shooting somebody at some point for no reason. Too many people are screwing around. Honestly, more than anything, I think it's like most cops nowadays feel like they can't be held accountable for anything they do. Yeah, that's true. So they just do it. And like, there needs to be accountability, or otherwise, what's the point? Mm -hmm. I've stole like six cars, and none of them are the one I need. Mm -hmm. All right, cops, 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 cops. You ever taken so many shots you blacked out? Yeah, I used to get blacked out all the time. I've only done, I've only ever blacked out twice. Both times I was on cocaine and alcohol. That's probably why. But vodka's like my weakness. One of the times it was like my buddy was like, I bet you won't chug that whole bottle of vodka. And he's and I was just like, bitch, say I won't one more time, see what happens. And then he's like, you fucking won't, pussy. And I just grabbed the bottle from his hand and slammed it. I drank a whole bottle of Southern Comfort once. Yeah, that was already, a, I had already drank like a, probably a good bottle of whiskey at that point, and uh, probably like two thirty packs. So I was already heavily fucking faded. Yeah. <laughs> and then that was, the, after that it was just over. Well, I drank a whole bottle of Southern Copper because it was easy. <laughs> That's why I drank the vodka. It's like I drank it. And all of a sudden... Nope! I just found it! What? Never mind, that's not, that's not a beer. Fuck. It's alright, I found a, um... I found something I want instead. I just got my chest blown open by a shoddy. I don't know how to feel about that. Alright, where's my car at? There's a sports car here, I'll steal this instead. These little things are fun. Who the fuck parks this here and expects it not to get stolen? Like, in all honesty, I see you. Would you find that you want more? Is it a penis? Yeah. Knew it! I wish I could save this fucking car. These little things are fuck. Oh. 
Hi, Dad. Did you find it? Did you get a truck? What the fuck? Wait for me, Dad. Hop in. I got a faster vehicle. Yeah, but this is the one I want. Oh my god, you got a Chester van! Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh my god. They should let you armor plate these. That would be funny. Yeah, that would be cool. I mean, the next best thing is the armored box, Phil. Oh, I dude, didn't do it. you got the cops on me. Just outside you just gotta the get there shop. without them seeing you. You just gotta get there without them seeing you. You'll be fine. Drive down there. It's fine. By the way, you're an escaped convict, so you have no room to tell me what I can and can't do. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. You're not my dad. Hello, darkness, my old You should be able friend. to take these to, um, Benny's and get, like, murals on them. Dude, that'd be dope. This is a beautiful Chester, Ben. Put some off-roadies on it. Oh, look at those xenon lights. The gorgeous. Oh yeah, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Weasel news. Is that like the covert Chester logo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like they think you're a news van. They're like, ooh, interview me. And then you abduct them. Murder them violently with a penis. You having fun there? Yeah. Why does it smell like pizza in my room? What the fuck? I want pizza. Might go make pizza after this. Is Evan still in here? I feel like he's still in here. Evan! What? You wanna make out? No. Damn. Right there. Right there. Get those like circular ones. They're cool. That one. Those modular rims are dope. I like how this episode has literally been nothing but nonsense. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like, Vigoro hunting failure. Ooh, blacked out. Beautiful. Custom. I look so... I look like... You, did you just abduct me? Is that what happened? Is that yeah. why I'm in the back? I bet you this dude, like, is wondering why the fuck I'm in the back of your van. <laughs> He's like, why is that chick, that that ugly chick in the back? And you're just like, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't fucking worry about it. Or you'll be in the back of the van. There we go. Martin, I don't want to... Well, let me change the, uh, the color. What the fuck? What? So you're stuck with gray? Shit gray? Yeah, it works though. Yeah, it looks fine. It's not like it looks bad. Oh, man, I can't see anything out the back here. Uh, where are you taking me? I'm going to need you to answer the question, failure. What are you doing? Let me just try going back in, see if I can... Oh, uh, see if it glitched out or something? Yeah. Let's try going to Benny's. Can't you get a van at Benny's? I think. Is it still glitched out or is it like Yeah. Damn. It looks good though. It's not like it looks bad. Yeah, I mean it's it's a real good like doing dirt vehicle. Yeah, it's like Yeah, look I like how it even has this little wall in the back. Yep. So it's like it's like you know when you throw some bodies back here you're not gonna get any blood on the seats. Yeah, let's try to do a biker. You wanna go to Benny's? We can go to Benny's. Yeah, let's go to Benny's. You want me to see if this van's in there first before we even drive over there? It's probably not. Let's look. There's the moonbeam that you can do. Stock. But I just want to see if I've got alternatives in there. Uh, no, it's just the moonbeam. The rump, like like I said, the rumpo would be. They'll probably like murals on the side. Uh huh. Like in the uh, 70s and 80s. I wish you could take the Vigoro into fucking Benny's. 
Yeah. Like, I'm gonna make it look like the car from Fast and Furious, let's be honest. Like, that's the only point of getting, getting that car. Oh yeah, Tommy Gun. Do we feel like gangsters yet? Yeah. Fuck you, trash can. Uh, hey, I think Benny's is closed. Cannot be modified here, only specific ones. Right. Pacific? I said specific. You said Pacific, like the ocean. No, I didn't. I said specific. Yeah, I yeah, I did. Say I didn't one more time. See what happens. Say I didn't. You didn't. Should we start a gang war since we're here? I already did this one. So did I. We got popos. Should we start a popo war since we're here? Yeah. Come at me, you sons of bitches. You never take me alive, coppers. Yeah. That was sexy. Can you do that again, but in my ear? Yeah. Speaking of cars, what's your dream car in real life? Um, a DeLorean. That'd be dope. It's like, the, the DeLorean is the American dream. It was invented by a Coke Baron. I want a 66 Corvette. That's, that's my dream. The Merc Mobile. Exactly. No, no, I just... That's an AMC Pacer. Ah! Uh, You're alright. I feel like I should be rolling around back here, but I'm not, and that doesn't make any sense. Hey, dude, fuck off, cops. It would help if your shit driving wasn't fucking up my shit shooting. What are you doing?! <laughs> oh my god, is this happening right now? Yeah. You ever ran from the cops before? No. Nah. Yes. I already told. I already told you I've done it more than once. <laughs> There's a helicopter, but I can't get a shot at it. Gotta go out of first person for a second. Hop on my DeLorean and I'm gonna soar. Set them in a Subaru and I'm yelling hoodie ho! with a bigger clip capacity. Oh, well, we're screwed. <laughs> no, we didn't land in there! Spigeezy, you're a great driver. I don't care what I said about your... I was hitting that so. jump so I would go um, perfectly vertical. Okay. So you could shoot that chopper. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, come on. He almost down, he almost down. Get me an angle on this son of a bitch. Fuck off, we just want to molest some people. Come on, die! Thing's gonna blow up. Uh, go forward, go forward. Oh, well, I'm out of ammo. Well, I'm dead. You got dead body in the back again. <laughs> That's all right. It's not the first time. It's not the last time. Take it. Take another little piece of my fart now, baby. You got it. Come get me. I'll take care of the heli. I Austin Powers did. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Dope. Did it work? Can you get out of it? Or did you Austin Powers at 100%? Are you screwed? You need help? I'm gonna come kill you? <laughs> you, just, you just got fucked. Yeah, I ate shit. My personal vehicle's been impounded by the 5 0. Nice. Proud of you, Dad. Back to, oh yeah, full pop. You wanna do, um, a gerb? We can try. I mean, I'm at 40 minutes of the episode, we can end it with one. 
since we've done nothing this entire episode. Let's uh, let's end it with suicide. <laughs> suicide by cops? Suicide by ourselves, like Romeo and Juliet. Equip a pistol actually... and select kill yourself. Yeah, I know. But I'm I'm killing cops. It's more fun. Let's get a fun gun. Oh, there's no ammo. No. <laughs> All right, Romeo and Juliet with me. Or Hitler and whatever his wife's name was. Ava Braun. There you go. I only remember that because of Braun Shavers. <laughs> I didn't just shoot at a cop and get away with it. No, I didn't. Hi, Dad. All right. Look into my eyes and say something sexy. Oh, I was just going to select the kill yourself function. Look into my eyes and say something sexy. Um... Tell me let how me much you love me in your, three words. Let me see your goo hole. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, new series, make sure to subscribe down below. Don't forget to check out Spaghetti. Yay! Who was who was in the, who was in the, who was in the call with me the entire time? Also, the Mr. Even guy who was who was lurking. Um, no, I'm not. Eh, you want the last words even? What do you gotta say? Yeah, you're right. He's not a YouTuber. He's just a faggot. Fuck off. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it. Ta-ta for now. Now I'm out. Poof.